Hello friends, it's Vanessa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am heading over to Disney Springs to check out the new... Hello friends, editor Vanessa here. Um, throughout this entire vlog, I realized while I was editing that I kept calling the donut shop glazed instead of ever glazed, which is what it's called. So I will correct myself on, I will put up what it's actually called throughout the vlog. It didn't take until I was editing the vlog to realize that I was saying the name of the place wrong. I don't know why I was thinking that it was just glazed, but it is ever glazed. Just want to be clear. I do know I screwed up. I am really sorry. I will correct it. And just so you're aware that throughout the rest of this vlog, I will call it glazed, but I do understand it is, it is called Everglazed. Glazed Donut Shop. I'm really excited about it and I'm gonna take you guys along on that journey. I'm running a little late today, um, just cause I had to grab some other things to shoot some other content with my friend Lola later after we check out the donut shop. So let's just head over to Disney Springs and let's check it out. We got to Glaze and they do have a virtual queue. So just so you know that you can't just walk in and get a donut at this point. Um, so we signed up for the virtual queue and hold please. <laughs> I know I could have, but I didn't want to interrupt her TikTok. So we got in the virtual queue and it's gonna be like about 40 minutes. And then once you get in the line there, it's about 10 minutes. So total, 50 minutes. So I don't know if that change it, if that's gonna be different. Today's a Sunday when we're going, so just forewarning for anyone who wants to go and check it out. amazing. I've got the cinnamon toast crunch donut and I will list all the other flavors on the side of the screen so you can check those out. Let me flip you around here. So they have a nice, excuse me, so they have a nice outdoor area where you can sit and eat your donut. They also have an indoor seating but it's a little crowded in there. So it's great that they have this outdoor space. I'm just waiting for Lola to get hers and we're gonna try that out together. Did you get a grilled cheese? Let me see it. Well, it's a donut like I thought it was supposed to. <laughs> oh, did you have to specially request it to be on a donut? Weird. On the menu it said they all came on donuts. Huh. Well, I'm gonna try this thing. Here we go. That's really good. Really sweet. Really good. You wanna try a bite? Okay. So also, while we were waiting to come here, I got a wishable and I really want the monorail. So let's see, I was feeling around and I'm hoping that this is a monorail. 
It's the tram. But it's still super cute. He looks so happy. But that's cute. It's kind of unfortunate because they all feel exactly the same. So like when it was smushed up, I felt like the slope. So I thought it was the monorail. That's okay. I could try again. But he's still super cute. All right, so I'm back in my car. Um, Lola and I are gonna go out and make some content, but I am going to wrap up this vlog when I get home and share my final thoughts on the whole experience at Glaze. And yeah, it was getting a little busy there, so I'll just wrap it up at home. Hello friends, we are back home and I thought I'd do a little kind of recap of my thoughts on Glazed and just kind of the whole experience, especially, um, kind of what it feels like right now at Springs due to the pandemic. Um, so Springs on a Sunday morning, I got there around 10.30 in the morning um, and it opens at 10. So I was kind of expecting there to be people there, but like not super busy. There was a 40 minute wait for Glazed and they do have a virtual queue. So you just go up, give them your name and phone number, and then they'll text you when you are ready and like how many people are in your party, um, which I thought was really great. So then you can go around and shop in Disney Springs, which I did, and I'll show you what I got. Um, you guys saw a little bit of what I got, but I will show you everything that I got. Um, and then it really wasn't 40 minutes, to be completely honest. We walked around Springs, we went into we went to Basin and got some things, and I'll show you in a minute. Um, we went to World of Disney, because that was the first time it didn't have a line in like ever. And then I got my Wishable. And then we walked to Starbucks and got some coffee. And as we were in line for Starbucks, we got a text that it was ready to come in line. So probably it was maybe closer to 30 minutes, but um, just so kind of a gauge so you're aware of how long it does take. Um, I really like the donuts. I really enjoyed, well, the donut I got. I really enjoyed it. And a point that my friend Lola made to ask me is how did I like this compared to Voodoo Donuts? And Voodoo Donuts is over at Universal and that is has like big elaborate donuts as well. And I actually like Glaze better. And I think that's because I really liked how Glaze's donuts, they have like a base donut and they have a couple of different flavors and they just have like toppings on top. And I like that because they can control that particular donut and how that base is, which is very light and fluffy and has that like just glaze, kind of like how Krispy Kreme has, but they're a little bit bigger and thicker than Krispy Kreme. And then they can control their toppings, which I really enjoyed a lot. And I think that was a really good balance and it wasn't overly sweet, which I found some of the Voodoo Donuts were very overly sweet to the point where it felt like uh, it was like rotting your teeth. <laughs> um, maybe I need to try some other things from Voodoo Donuts. And Voodoo Donuts also sat very heavy with me, which I kind of think they are using more of a cake donut. This is just all my opinions and my feelings, but I really enjoyed Glaze. I did not get to try their coffee. A lot of it is cold brew, I believe. And they did have spiked coffee. So you can get some alcohol in your coffee if that's what you're after. But um, it was colder today, so getting um, some coffee from Starbucks actually balanced it really well. I got the flat white from Starbucks tried that for the first time, which was very good. And it balanced the sugar in the donut from Glazed, which worked very well. And I felt very safe sitting outside in their spaced area. They really control how many people are in and in the area, which is very nice. And then also we didn't have to walk all the way around to the other side of AMC theater because that's kind of where Glazed is. It's on the other side of AMC, between AMC and, um, Splitsville. And there's an entrance to the orange garage there, which is where we both parked. So we could just go into that entrance where people aren't entering and exiting because there's not a temperature station there. There's no security there, but you can go back into the parking lot there, which was very nice. So we were able to space out. So overall, I had a very wonderful experience. I'll definitely go back and try the other flavors. The Fruity Pebbles one is on my list to try, and I do want to try their coffee as well to just see how it levels up to everything else. 
So a little mini haul of what I got. You saw my wishable, which is the little tram. He's so cute though. And he has like a little attachment. He is adorable. Like, look at him. He's so cute. He's so cute. And I guess I heard from Amanda in Orlando that um, you can get, they have a bunch of different colors. So they have all the different colors of the trams. In the monorails, they have Disneyland's monorail, which looks very different than Disney World's monorails. And so you can get all the different colors of those. So that's really interesting. And I'm definitely gonna try to find some more to add to my little Wishables collection. But he's cute and unique. And I do love the trams and I do miss the trams. But when they come back, I'm gonna be like, oh, I can take this now. Cause I'm so used to walking from my parking spot. But. Here we are. And I also stopped at Basin, of course, because I love Basin and you can't not stop there. So every Christmas season, they have these little um, like containers of body butter and I love their body butter. And I was just, and I just ran out. So I broke down and got the big version and it's the Pink Sands. And I love Pink Sands. It's such a good scent. I already have the, um, sugar scrub they have of pink sands and I'm like scraping the bottom of that one too but it just it smells so good and the body butter is so nice because it's not super oily and it keeps my um, it keeps everything hydrated I've given it to my mom and my sister and they both really enjoy it living in Wisconsin and keeping their bodies um, very moisturized because it can get very dry during the winter so I really like this body butter after I shave to put it on. It's just perfect. And then I had to get some bath bombs because you can't not go to Basin without bath bombs. So I got the big, whoa, I can smell all the smells now because like in there, there's a lot of smells even through your mask. And like now I can smell like actually what I got. So I got a white heart bath bomb. Um, I'm not sure what that is. You know what? I'm gonna look it up. I think it's Enchanted Waters. I believe that's what this one is. It looked really good and I really wanted to try it. So I got that one and then these two, I got the Hidden Treasure, which actually has a fun like prize inside. I didn't know Basin was doing these. They have a bunch of them. Um, that have a hidden prize inside. I think there's like four. I'm looking on their little card. I think they have like four of them that have different, and they're all different. So that's really cool. And then there's this last one, which is the rose gold heart, which I saw and thought was really pretty and cute. So I can't not take advantage of base and bath bombs because they're so nice and they smell so good. And you can get the large ones, you can get three for 15, which gives you a really good deal. So could not pass that up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and coming along with me to Disney Springs and experiencing Glazed and kind of the experience of that and kind of what that will be like once you, if you decide to go, I highly encourage you to go. If you are a donut person, a coffee person, I highly encourage you to go. And plus they are locally Florida owned, which is really cool. So supporting some local businesses. And um, like always, they at Disney Springs, they still have security, they still have temperature checks. You still have to observe wearing your masks and staying six feet apart as much as you can. And they're doing the best they can with that. Unfortunately, I did see a lot of people, a good amount of people like offending those rules. Like there's a woman who was talking with her mask down and she was talking on the phone. So unfortunately it does happen. Just be aware of that and don't be that person, basically. <laughs> Let's be the nice people. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoy this experience. Give this video a like if you like it and let me know what you think. If you've been to Glaze, what's your favorite flavor of donut? I'd love to hear from you guys. And sub subscribe if you haven't already. I am doing more videos like this, more kind of behind the scenes and just kind of living my life here in Florida and showing you guys kind of what it's like and um, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Vanessa Jordan Photo and on TikTok at Vanessa Jordan Photo 
to see all of my different content that I've been mentioning and creating. So make sure you don't miss that. And yeah, until next time, bye guys.